everybody. We're in St. James Park again, one of our favorite, favorite places in London City. Um, it looks like a wonderland here right now, and the sun is up here. And I know we made a video about St. James Park, but I just wanted to add something more because I discovered there are even more that you should know about St. James Park. And today we're going to do the five things that you didn't know about St. James Park. So let's start. As far as you know, the Buckingham Palace is in St. James Park and it's actually right there right now. And I'm looking, the flag is up, so the Queen is not in. I mean, the national flag is up. If the royal standard was up, it would mean that she was in. But right now, there is no Queen, so we can be as comfortable as we want. So Buckingham Palace didn't always look like this. It was a little yellow humble house. But then it turned out to be this. But imagine, I mean, it started as a very little building and it turned out to be the Buckingham Palace. The Victoria Memorial. Of course, it's one of the signatures of London City and it's an amazing memorial. It was sculpted by Thomas Brooke and it was dedicated to Queen Victoria by her grandsons. You can see it here or you can visit St. James Park. <laughs> if you click on the photo about, you're going to see a glided gate that is leading you to Green Park. The glided golden gate symbols that this is a royal park. There are eight royal parks in London, five of which are in central London. Hyde Park, Green Park, St. James Park, Regent's Park and Kensington Gardens. The fact about Green Park. So Green Park is literally one of the best parks in London, if not the world. But it's not like the other parks. It's not completed with lakes, with monuments, with sculptures, nothing. Green Park is so plain. And if you didn't know the reason why it's so plain, you're really going to be very surprised because there are dead people buried under Green Park. Yes, they're burying the dead from St. James's Leeple Hospital to Green Park. And that's why there's no other things there. St. James's Palace. So the first thing I noticed about St. James's Palace is that it's built out of bricks, which is very unlikely for a palace. Henry VIII, he just decided that he didn't need the security that the castles provided. So that's why St. James's Palace is the first palace to be built in a French style. So now you know even five more facts about St. James's Park. Now you have to come here and see it for yourself two times more. I'll see you in the next video of Londoners. Hope you had fun. I'm having a lot of fun here. <laughs> Take care.